Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo doing your next 24 hours love reading. This will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. So some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. This channel is strictly for Virgos. So welcome if you are new. Please do hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Okay, we're going to take a look at the person's energy with whom you may be connecting with. First, we're going to look at the past, Seven of Cups, Two of Swords, and Strength. And then the present, Three of Swords, the Justice card, and the Ten of Swords. And the future, we have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Swords, and you have the Five of Cups. Okay, let's get your love messages. Let's see what your love messages are for Virgo. What are Virgo's love messages? Virgo's love messages. Okay, past life relationship. You have known each other before. So this connection definitely may, it may be a past connection, but it does have an element of where you and this person, there's something about like a familiarity to the two of you, a recognition. Um, it's like you've known each other in a past life. When you came together, there were similarities. Um, could have been in looks. Uh, could have been in, you know, it's just, I, I'm just like picking up that energy. It's like when you meet somebody and you say, have we met before? Um, you may have felt that way about this person. Okay, what else? Let's see. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Pay attention to the red flags. You know, I was feeling this card when I was shuffling. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. And let go of control issues. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. All right, Virgo. Let's see what's going on here. Past life relationship, passion. It's a very passionate connection for sure. That's an indicator that something about this connection might have been a lot of physical intimacy, very passionate. That might have been the ruling theme to the connection, but a lot of red flags here. And um, it might have been some control that had developed, some control issues. So let's take a look what the passion card is about here. Okay, Queen of Cups. So perhaps a, a water element connected here cancer scorpio pisces what are these red flags okay justice okay somebody well there was some truth there was some truth that perhaps you weren't seeing um some truth truthful red flags that perhaps you weren't seeing in this connection in the past that's libra energy okay um Let's get another clarifier. Oh, and now we have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. A lot of cup energy here. So if this person had water placement, um, very emotional type of a person that you were connected to no matter what sign. Um, but I feel like this King of Cups did come with some red flags. Um, kind of feel like um, hmm. I'm just picking up this energy maybe legal problems some legal issues with this person or something tied to maybe legal maybe legal things that you perhaps you knew about but you weren't so sure okay um, some truth that you might have been ignoring with this person, okay? Um, or there was like some type of marriage or a divorce or something, or maybe this person had like a bunch of marriages or never been married. It made just some major red flags with this person, like oh, control issues, okay? Well, the Four of Cups is here, so an element of emotional in, uh, unavailability Okay, there might have been a desire to control this person to try to get. Um, 
it almost feels like try to get this person to either you try to get them to open up but there might have been like this person used control as a way to cover up for emotional unavailability okay i'm not sure if you would understand what i mean by that kind of like they couldn't give the emotional connection so they tried to control the relationship in other ways okay i just want to see past life relationship okay yeah three of wands here this is like waiting for your person to come back around. I feel like there's a karmic lesson here that needed to be learned or that needs to be learned about this connection. Now, this doesn't have to be a lover like from yesterday's reading. This could be somebody else, is somebody from your past or at any point in your in your life or with any person, okay? But the past, definitely, I feel like a stronghold with this person um they kind of stalemated your relationship they couldn't commit um couldn't make up their mind or compromise knew that they needed to do something but were blocking it and the strength here makes me feel like it was like a stronghold to stalemate the relationship um to kind of keep you waiting because this person could not either they had a lot of other options and you were one of them um in the past and that two of swords energy just means like there was a decision that they needed to choose or they needed to make, you know, they needed to decide, um, you know, pick a lane or to choose you or to go in a different direction. And they couldn't make up their minds, so they kind of stalemated it. Let's get some clarifying cards here. Seven of cups. Yep, four of swords, just being very passive not taking any action about making up their mind or making a decision. It's interesting how these readings come out sometimes, but that's commitment issues. This person just was very passive as far as like making, having to make a decision about the relationship. They were still maybe exploring their options in the past or just not willing to commit to anything Kind of like had their head up in the clouds but not wanting to let go of you okay yet being unavailable for the emotional connection and the two of swords here okay so this person maybe kept promising in the past that love was coming or they were going to make an offer or yes you're going to get married or yes you know they're going to propose or yes they're going to agree to accepting your love that kind of thing they kept, i feel like this person it was a tactic a stalemate kind of tactic or that you know yeah i'm making this offer and you know i don't know how it's going to go but i'm making it anyway but they were purposely just trying i feel like it's terrible i just feel like this person was just trying to like they were keeping you on the line like stringing you along i don't know who, this might have been somebody from, from way way back or this might be resonating now with someone you're currently with but this is past energy we have leo here um there's libra the Knight of Cups is here twice. <laughs> and then we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Okay. Yeah. It was basically like the stronghold was they wanted you to wait until it was time. When it was time. I feel like that was the message. They didn't want to let you go. They didn't want to lose you. But they weren't willing to make a decision. But they were kind of just like making these sweet offers. Like the Knight of Cups whatever that might mean for you um but it was like pfft, with the world card kind of or the the wheel of fortune kind of like just just stay strong just give it time when you know things will turn around things will change maybe they were waiting for money to come in or you know they i don't know if they were giving you excuses they might have been but just kept saying when when the time is right when things turn around for me or when things start changing you know then or when things get moving trying to maintain their courage even this person i really feel like they they truly in the past didn't have the courage to make change with you and so they were just kind of like oh, leaving it to external circumstances Okay, five of wands, right? Have a lot of challenges with this person and, you know, uncertainty. 
and this person I do feel like was trying to realign themselves, but they were also trying to be free at the same time. They, they wanted to be free, but they didn't want to lose you. And it's like having their cake and eat it too. I kind of feel like. Um, so the current energy is the Three of Swords, Justice, and the Ten of Swords. So I feel like the current energy is a breakup. Okay. Um, but I feel like um, this is this is their energy. I don't feel like they're communicating this with you. I feel like you're ending it <laughs> in the present. It's done. There might be an argument. A truth comes out about betrayal or being stabbed in the back or just like giving up and surrendering. And I feel like... Um, I feel like this person's going to give up too in the present, right? Let's take a look. Three of Swords. Yep. Two of Swords. Here you go again because nothing's happening with this person. There's nothing happening. Okay. Maybe they're still married. Maybe you've been waiting for a divorce to come about and they just keep stalling and it's just not happening. And for others, it is happening with them. Okay, it's two different storylines. All right, give me a second here because I need to feel this energy here. What's going on? Um, yeah, there you go. So I do feel like you're putting an end to this because of the stalemate situation and you're just tired of waiting for these um, like false starts, false hope, false promises. But in doing that, I feel like that's when things are going to change for this person because you're pretty much putting an end to being a part of it. And I feel like that's when things, I don't know if it does something to this person, they feel defeated and they finally go through with it. Some kind of divorce or a breakup. King of Wands is sitting here in the center, Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius. Okay, this person might be connected to an Aries. Uh, Leo, a Sagittarius, or um, it's your person. Ten of Swords, yep. <laughs> They're going to, okay, you guys, like you're just, I feel like you're strong arming back and you're just standing up for yourself and you're challenging this person as well. Maybe you have in the past and you just said, you know, I'm not waiting for, you know, you're just kind of being put on like the the long stick and you're not you're throwing those sticks back at your person you're not accepting um this because for some of you it's been like two years seven years eight years um that you've really been like it's been a long time, however long it's been. It's been a really long time with this person um, where you just kind of been waiting and waiting. I feel like um, even though this is present energy, I feel like there's going to be a final like ending, whoever they're connected with or whatever's going on in their life that they are committed to. Um, October or November possibly is when everything will go through fully. Okay, but I feel like um, this present energy or within three weeks time, you're going to just be done with this and things start actually moving and changing. And I see them here surrendering and trying to come back into alignment with you. Okay, now even this next 24 hours, this energy could be, it's fluid, it's, it's timeless. So really could, the messages I'm giving are within the next 24 hours that I'm picking up. This energy, you know, this present from the time you watch it up until the, the near future and these changes happen. I feel like this person going forward, um, whether they give up on you and give up on this. I know yesterday's reading was this person's not going to give up on you, but I feel like and I, I think I said in yesterday's reading, they're going to keep trying, but I feel like those tries aren't going to work for you because nothing's really coming from it. It's just still maybe to keep you attached to them. But I feel like Virgo, 
your present energy, whether you, no matter what, I just feel like you put your foot down in this connection, not only within your heart and your mind, but with this person. And you just tell them, I'm ending it here because you just keep me in this stalemate position and you're not working with me. It takes two to tango. Maybe there's a third party, um, whatever it might be. Um, even if it's in your head or even if you're suspecting it, you know, when you're with someone who's giving you love and reassurance and safety and security, you don't ever suspect that. So if they're not giving you that, of course, that's what you're going to think. And it very well could be what's going on. Um, you know, this person, again, with the three of cups could very well just be, you know, you might be ending it because they just have a lot of flirtations going on with others that you sense or you see okay so that defeats them i don't know who this person is that you're dealing with but they're defeated they're crushed and then in the they come back because they're grief grief stricken because they lost you they lost you to those three cups right I feel like, Virgo, you were like, if, you know, if you want to have your three cups, go have your three cups. I'm not going to hold you back. I'm going to let go of my control issues and allow the situation to unfold, unfold naturally. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You go ahead. And I, I don't know that you're giving this person threats or anything, but I think like in your heart and your mind, you're just done. You're just done because you can't control them and you can't fix anything. You can't make this person love you, okay? But here they come with the Knight of Cups again. <laughs> Depressed, grief-stricken. Oops. You know, that Four of Swords. Usually the Four of Swords is like renewal, retreat, rest, but this, it feels to me like, you know, stuck in bed, just depressed and sad and trying to come back in to reconnect with you. Now, what we want to know, is this legit? Is this like for real? Or are they just sad because they couldn't hold you in place, like as a placeholder? Four of Wands is here now. No, it's real. It's the real deal. I think you just needed to stand your ground with this person and probably say something because they are coming in with this Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands, which the Four of Wands, I mean, come on. That's like a reunion. That's like they really do want to see you. They really do want to commit and get married and, and do all of that, all that stuff, okay? Come to your home. That's a reunion. Have you visit them you know, spend time together in the home. They feel like they're, you know, it's the tables have turned. You're turning the tables on this person. You're challenging this person to make the change, to get some courage, to make the change, to come towards you. You're challenging them to do that. And I feel like that has been something on your mind. And I see in the present you're doing that with them. Because it's really not fair to keep you in a stalemate position. Because it feels like, you know, okay, yes, I love you. And I want to marry you. I want to be with you and telling you all this nice stuff. And then it's like, but I'm not sure. It's confusing. It's mixed messages. And if you're feeling confused about this, it's because your person is giving you confusing messages. But they're like, they're kind of like tricking. They're, they're, they're kind of like, they're taking a poop cake and they're putting sweet icing on it. And you can't see what's inside, but I feel like you're waking, you, either you've woken up to it or you're waking up to it now and you're done. Okay, yeah, this person definitely is going to make this offer and they're going to patiently wait for you to give them an answer. Okay, they are, they're going to make the offer and they're going to wait for your answer. They're not going to push you. Okay, they're not going to push you. 
but I don't know that you're going to get the answer because I'm not sure you trust it because this is the boy who cried wolf. Usually it's, you know, the boy who cries wolf three times, but this is like two times this person has cried wolf two times. So is there trust? Why is the five of cups here? <laughs> the devil. Yeah, I don't think you're going to. I don't think you're going to accept the offer that they come in with because they wore out their welcome. Yep, you're going to blow them apart. The ego, that devil energy there too. That's that ego. Virgo, are you going to make this person suffer or, or pay? Or just, just, I mean, not intentionally, but just say, I'm sorry, but you know, I can't, there's not enough room in this bed for me, you, and your ego. And I think you're going to blow the roof off of it. The hanged man. Yeah. And the star. You, you're on a healing journey here. You've got like a brand new perspective going forward. And I feel like this person's going to see that as well. You just very well might be the one who actually got away. I think you're going to be the one who gets away. And it's kind of heartbreaking in some ways because I know you love this person and you didn't want to lose them, but you don't, you're not going to sacrifice your standards and be lied to or manipulated. Um, Or just dealt with casually every time they come back around so I think I don't know for some of you not all of you this might not resonate for all of you but for some of you you might just decide that you're out and you you might just decide that like you've seen enough red flags Yes, you have passion for this person yes you were willing to wait because you felt that connection with them you know, um, but you're letting go of things. And I feel like there's a part of you that's really becoming indifferent. Your heart is becoming indifferent to this now because it was an element of, maybe you felt like you were being taken advantage of for a long time. Two months, anywhere from two months to eight years. somewhere in there okay it was a long time and for others of you you know you know your timeline if it's longer than that you know then it's longer than that let's see Aquarius Pisces Scorpio Capricorn Aries Leo Sagittarius okay Libra all right let's see what is the love message from this person? What is the love message? I can still see you standing there. <laughs> Virgo's like, well, all you see is like my dust because I am not standing there. Don't worry. It'll all drop down to the ground because <laughs> I am out. It seems like you're disappearing and just leaving dust, leaving footprints. That's it. I hide behind material things. Okay. Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. I feel like this person works a lot. And that they just kind of like, or they're always on the computer, always on their phone. They hide behind material things. So they don't have to have that emotional connection. I took the easy way out. Okay. Yeah. And not giving you the truth and just kind of keeping you there. Okay, this reading is harsh. You know, we get a couple of good readings and then we get the truth bomb pops out and then it's like, what the heck's going on? I just wanna pull a couple more um, angel wisdom because I'm just picking up the energy. Now listen, like I said, this don't let this be your story if it's not your story. If this is resonating for you in the sense where you're listening and you're like, 
that's it. That's my story. I just needed this confirmation. That's what I knew was going on deep in my intuition. But if, if you're just like kind of on the fence about your situation, you don't have enough information. Um, and so you're just trying to put the pieces together. Um, and this is kind of resonating. Just let it kind of resonate and just give it more time until you figure out what's going on with you. Because I feel like these messages are really meant for someone who has been seeing some stuff, but they've been dealing with some trickery. And someone who was not being authentic and truthful with them. And they could feel it, but they couldn't put their finger on it. All I can tell you is... If you're listening to this message and you've said to yourself throughout the course of this relationship or marriage or whatever, that something has always felt off, then this is the message for you. If you've never said that to yourself, this is not your message. Okay. That's the only way I can clarify that, that they're giving me here. If it has felt off, something felt off, then this is the message for you. Okay, what else? Okay, wise counselor. Unity with a spiritually minded community. Ask the divine for help. Trust the answers will come. Compare traditional methods with new ideas to see which is best for you. Okay, this is Hierophant energy. Okay, so this is conformity. This is conventional expectations. The Hierophant talks about marriage. It's Taurus energy. And it also talks about seeking counseling if you need to get more clarity about a situation that you're in. Okay. An Ace of Swords, brilliant ideas that may need refinement. This is also a card of new conflict, but trying to under uh, overcome the conflicts. And it's also about getting mental clarity, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out. Communicate clearly and concisely and remain objective. And for some of you, I feel like you need to tell this person, like you have to, you've got to say it, you know? Some of you need to get closure and you're waiting for closure, but you're not getting it because this person's not going to give you closure because they're not done with you, yet they're not ready to be with you. So you have to get the closure or you have to give the closure yourself and you have to say to this person, look, you're not investing anything. You just keep giving me lies and you just keep holding on to me and it's stalemating and all this time's going by and I need to get on with my life and open myself up to somebody who is willing to go the distance. And I feel like you may need to have that conversation and then choose. And then if you choose to leave and you're done with it, then be done with it. Like just be done with it. Make that commitment to yourself that you're not going to go back. And the only way that you would accept them back if, is if you see evidence of change. Okay, transformation. That's what I was saying. A significant life experience that requires changes to be made. Powerful and often unexpected revelations. Breaking free. Releasing old belief systems. And that is... Uh, that's the tower. Again... That's it. And that's like I said, will this person make the changes when you blow the ego off of them and tell them that, you know, it's you're involved with, you've been in a relationship with them and this devil energy. Will they break those changes? Will healing come? I feel like they will see it. I do, but they're not going to see it and nothing's going to change if you just allow it to stay in a stalemate. When you grow, when you start growing, this might be something you need to do and you're just fearful because I know some of you are like, but what, what if I make a mistake or what if this person, you know, what if I'm wrong? You're doubting yourself. And that's why you're here listening to this reading. You don't have to doubt yourself. What you feel, like what your intuition is telling you is correct. You have to trust it. And sometimes you do have to make the change and make the growth. When you start growing... When you start changing, people around you change, situations around you start changing, okay? And whatever's not changing and growing with you is not meant to go with you, 
okay? And then you start ascending. Very few people will go with you on that ascension. That's why you have to form that community of people who have your, who give you the support that you need, especially if you have to get out of a particular relationship. Now, this doesn't have to be a lover. Just remember this. Your love life could still be yesterday's reading. This could be about a family member, you know, or an ex or a friend, okay? So it really just depends. If you need to listen to it again, take some time to listen to it again because something may, you may be reminded and say, wait, no, this is about my person. Or you may say, wait, no, this is my whomever, brother, sister, father, mother, best friend, cousin, landlord, boss, whoever it might be, right? Because it is love, but it is about relationships. All right, Virgo, so I'm going to leave that reading there for you. I hope you enjoy that. Link in the description box below if you would like a personal reading. And please do hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, Virgo. Take care.